Hello everyone. Good morning. Good afternoon. So today we'll go through about the Swagger documentation for REST APIs or any APIs which is created across the Spring Boot application. So in my very much earlier videos, I created uh, the same implementation using a Swagger Spring Fox implementation. But now we have a latest library which will cover the Open API definition, which is nothing but a, a V3 API docs. So that has a very simple implementation and simple jar to be included in our application. Uh, let us see how it works. So this is the Swagger UI. You can see all your controllers and everything. You can see controllers and all the post get method, which is comes out of the box with the that library. So you can see all the information. I'll not get into this all the REST API implementation, but just I'll let you know how it works. And also along with that, it this implementation provides you the schemas that are nothing but your POJOs, which will tell you the in detail everything what all the schemas currently in this project i have only one like a product for a sample demo so it has id product everything it will show here so this is a simple implementation of open api definition swagger ui so that you can easily test your apis run your apis uh, you don't need a postman you can just try it with a swagger ui itself so to run this application or to include this application so i'll just take on my earlier example of a spring boat uh, example so if you see, I've just added only one implementation here, which is nothing but of a jar, which is nothing but Spring Doc Open API UI 1.6.9. And currently I'm using the version of Spring Boot is 2.5.3. Okay. And this may not work with earlier versions of the Spring because that has some limitations over there. So I have used the latest version of the Spring and this works very well with the Open API. You just need to include this implementation uh, jar as a dependencies over there so it'll automatically it will work as it is so what i have shown here so you can see earlier implementation i had a spring fox swagger 2 ui and swagger 2 versions which is part of that also i have to add uh, some of the boilerplate code previous in the previous uh, implementation so i have committed everything now so you just no need to include anything or the no code is required at all and unless you have a com some custom information to be displayed and everything so i just to show you i just committed everything that class okay so you don't really need that now you just need this one dependency along with a proper spring boot version which is compatible to that so you'll be able to see this ui with a url like your port number along with swagger ui and index.html so you want a custom path you can just define a custom path in your property file so it's a way quite simple and quite effective uh, this is definitely needed for any Spring Boot implementation, REST implementation, all the classes so you'll, you'll easily come to know and everything you can easily test and analyze it here itself. So it clearly shows that API, API definition OS3, all the, it's OS3 spec specification. You can see V3 API docs here as well. So if I click on over F3, it shows me the, the JSON file, whatever it is, the docs file, right? You can just see what all the things are, everything is available here. So it's just quite simple, just include that dependency into your spring uh, boot application and then just try to access this swagger ui hyphen ui dot index dot html so it will uh, work quite flawlessly and everything will be displayed here as a part of that you can change this as a custom name and everything you can give whatever the name you want to based on your application i just kept it basic you can just define it in your main class and you can just have that information displayed here so this is a quite simple and straightforward implementation hope this helps thank you thanks a lot